Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikathayal. Today is Monday, November the 3rd, 2014. I bring you greetings, greetings of the eternal love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, sisters and brothers, let us receive the greetings of Jesus and be excited about giving that greetings to one another and to everyone throughout this day. I invite you to continue our meditation on the Gospel according to Mark. Today, let us start with the chapter 7. <coughs> Pardon me. Chapter 7, verses 1 through 5. It is about the Pharisees and some of the teachers of the law questioning Jesus about his disciples. They observed his disciples were eating food without washing their hands first. The Jewish tradition was they have to give a ceremonial washing to the hands before they eat food. And when the Pharisees and some of the teachers of the law observed Jesus' disciples were not doing that. They questioned Jesus, why do you permit your disciples not to obey the traditions of the elders, traditions of generations of people? Sisters and brothers, that is a temptation for us also. Each church has developed their own traditions. We are stuck on our traditions rather than be excited about Jesus wherever we are, whatever we do. It is our relationship with Jesus more important than any and all traditions put together. Growing up as a Catholic, Roman Catholic, and becoming a Catholic priest, I have seen and observed in myself and others the power of traditions. Even when I became a Presbyterian, even though Presbyterians are reformed body and believe they are being constantly reformed by the Holy Spirit, still they are stuck on traditions based on their book of order. Sisters and brothers, that is one of our weaknesses. So how should we overcome that? We need to keep on asking Jesus to give us the power of the Holy Spirit to grow in our personal relationship with Him and live according to His direction, according to the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. I'm not saying that we should give up on all the traditions. Traditions are good in certain ways. But it's what is more important is our personal relationship with Christ. When we grow in our personal relationship with Christ, traditions would mean much more than we just observe them. Traditions will then inspire us to grow in our personal relationship with Christ and live as Christ directs us, as G the Holy Spirit directs us. And in my experience, I have seen the Holy Spirit helping me to praise God for all traditions, Catholic traditions, Protestant traditions, Orthodox traditions, all traditions are good in some way. So let's keep on praising God for all traditions and ask God's blessings upon us that we do not become slaves of traditions, but rather we utilize traditions to keep on growing in our personal relationship with Christ and thereby Christ be our leader, Christ be our Lord and Savior, Christ be our inspiration for daily life. Jesus says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest, I will give you life, I will give you power beyond yourself. Oh, sisters and brothers, how great it is for us to follow Jesus Christ. 
Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, oh, how can we thank you enough for giving us Jesus Christ, your one and only Son, who died on the cross for us. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for choosing to come and live within us in spite of our sinfulness, our attachment and, and slavery to traditions. Oh precious Lord, continue to breathe upon us your Holy Spirit that we may utilize our